What is up guys? It's Mike Dismamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hashishin Dark Mage aka the Servant of Beliar, the God of Death, Chaos and everything unnatural. And uh, welcome to... Uh, I'm not quite sure about the episode name but in this particular episode we're gonna go to explore the vastness of the deserts in order to relocate all the water mages and eliminate them for the access towards Eastar as well as completing them to get in favor with our good friend Gonzalez. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go to every s different city that I can go to where there are alchemists located so I can sell some shit and buy some potions because uh, the gods know I can use it. Now I'm not gonna purchase mana potions because of the fact that I'm gonna get the uh, recipe for 5000 so I can create a lot of mana potions. Well, a lot. I only got 8, eight wine so I really don't have to purchase it. Uh, let's just go to the, the, you know, alchemist cities. And, uh, did I already? I don't think I did. Uh, let me see if I can collect gold for killing Sugut. Well, I'm gonna go to alchemist areas. See if there are still alchemists around about that have some healing potions. And, uh, get myself a bit stocked up before I'm gonna kill the water mages because the water mages will be very strong and very hard to deal Show with. Show me your goods. Especially those that are protected by the nomads. But uh, just give me a bit here to sell some of my stuff and then we'll continue. I'll keep two of them for Tunnel Rumbler, Saber Tooth Tigers, uh, well, Saber Tooth Tiger Teeth. You need about 12. You need about, I don't know, 20, let's say 20 bison skins for the Wolf Clan in Nordmar. Um, the reason why I keep Shadow Beast skins is because of a weapon that I can make. I will eventually get all the blueprints just to make the weapons once because I didn't do that in my other two playthroughs. And wolf skins are both quest related as well as crafted related. Don't need those. Swords I need in Vanguard Capital. Same with the hammers and 20 pickaxes. I also got those. But uh, just give me a bit here and then we're gonna continue and get the water mages eliminated. Fortune gain gold. Hmm. Let's see if I can make potions. Already have the uh, 5k, interesting. So I only need the mana one. Just as a uh, collectible, if you will. Um, mm, 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 can't make, can't make, can't make. <laughs> uh, useless. I don't have the ingredients for that. Someone is attacking our cities. Once we find the guilty party, we'll make short work of them. The only motherfucker that I attacked was the one I was supposed to kill, which is Ramirez. So I'm a bit confused right now. I didn't liberate any cities. I found the other ore thief. It was Hassan, a Hashishin. Did you give him his just deserts? Oh, yes. Good. Here is your reward. Show me your goods. All right, so let's go to uh, Cape Don. The 
soon I can get to Ishtar. I'm gonna, you know, save as much gold as I possibly can because I'm the first blueprint that I will buy, aside from the ones that I already have, are is the Master Sword two-hander, um, one-handed Master Sword blueprint, which I can make twice, and then I will be able, then I will wield the strongest one-handed weapons in the game, you know. Which is the same weapons that our good friend Zubin is carrying. Show me your goods. Which are pretty, pretty, pretty good weapons, I might say. Also, gotta see which of those recipes I have, because I also need them, but not really right now. I, I still can't make them anyways, you know, so it's meaningless to get them. But uh, I'm gonna get this one. Poison blabber, yeah, already have that one. Poison arrows, nah. A bit expensive. But now I can s turn all those mana dues, or morning dues, into potions. Well, aside from having the wine, that is. Let me quick regen. nine more agent knowledge and then I have 200 agent knowledge so I can learn mana regeneration then I will save up three levels yes I have to save up 30 learning points to learn mana regeneration and then the true nature of Beliar begins because that will allow him to cast a whole lot more magic and basically get rid of the bow basically not entirely but Alright, so Cape Don't Check, Lago as an alchemist. So to gain access to Vatras. Don't cause any trouble here, got it? I do have to fight in the arena. Well, I have to kill him, but I do want the rewards for the arena, let me put it that way. Um, but this was not the city with the alchemist. Which was that Ben Sala? Where is Ben Sala? Benirai. Benirai was the one. So the first things I'm going to focus on right now is getting mana regeneration as soon as possible as well as getting this one as soon as possible. This one is actually more prioritized at the moment because of the fact that I need to compete in the arenas. Um, but I will do that in one video in all regions, you know, so first once I'm done here I will go to Sildan and Geldon, finish those areas. And then before I would go to Nordmar, I would compete in all the arenas in the desert, compete in all the arenas um, in Mar Mirtana, become the champion, compete in Faring, and get that one done as well. But uh, getting this one will require me to, you know, save up to about 30 learning points, which is three levels. Now, normally this not this is not the case, but because I use alternative balancing. Um, or A, B, or alternative, um, yeah, whatever, you know, alternative balancing, everything goes more expensive to a certain point. In a default game, if you have alternative balance disabled, everything that you can see here costs five learning points each, which makes it relatively easy to get every single skill set in every magical capability without need of wasting away a lot of experience what have you which is what I will use it for for my hardcore run because in with alternative balancing you cannot get every single capability because of the fact that this one costs 30 this one costs 30 this one costs 30 
this one costs 30, this one costs 30, you know, if you want to have them all with alternative balancing, you really have to cheat in order to get that done. And even then, you cannot get everything because there are certain spells in, in the Enos, Adenos, and Beliar magic tree that you cannot get. Well, Adenos you, you can get if you, you know, learn it from the variants, which is Ice Explosion. Um, but Beliar, Enos, you know, Fire, Rain, and Army of Darkness are only for you available if you want cheat or if you choose to join Enos or if you choose to join Baliar by sacrificing the artifacts instead of destroying the artifacts you know only that way you can get their spells so but you know since I do use it right now I have to be reliant on saving up quite a bit of XP now these two alone the Dark Mage and the Mother Regeneration will cost me 60 learning points if not more and I still need to get this one, this one, this one, this one, all of the thieving skills, most of the alchemy skills, um, well, basically all, just for the heck of it. I'm not quite sure about arrows yet, but these I will get. And the only one that I didn't get in my other two playthroughs is this one. But I talk way too much once again. So uh, let's just continue. And... If you want to see a different playthrough, you can find the Rebels, Enos, and the Human Orc Mercenaries, Adenors, both already on my YouTube channel. Now, Enos doesn't have timestamps yet, but Adenors do. So, if you want to search for something quick, you can use the timestamps to your heart's content. Thank you very much, uh, UCBO. Um, Morasul doesn't have an alchemist and more I do. So the only basic, basically the only water mage that I, I cannot kill at the moment right now is Fatras. Because of the fact that he's locked up in order for me to locked up I need to kill Fabio to get his key as well as it's quest related because he doesn't want to open the goddamn door for me you know maybe if I get maximum uh, reputation points but I doubt it I'm pretty sure I got the mission to kill him apparently not Interesting. Well, I will see how I can get access to that one, but the other one, a mage, has got to die. At least have to kill one more in order to get 75 reputation, which is the priority, which is basically already in the pocket. Show me your goods. But they will be hostile towards me, so if I come across them, they will eventually still die, because if they see me, well, they will instantly attack me, obviously. Same with Nomads, which is exactly the reason, you know, why I first do as many quests as I possibly can before joining a particular site. Because if you don't, then you can forget about getting a nice character build um, when it comes to, with alternative balancing. Without this child's play, you know. Well, even in vanilla game, if you want to have everything learned, which you can learn, and you still need to be around level 60-ish, at least. Um, so, you know, in that regard, you still need to do as many quests as you possibly can before actually joining a side. But that is always good. More gold, more XP, Show me your more rewards, both in XP and gold, or other items sometimes. Okay, so Okara done, the Reddick, and then Trellis. And then we're gonna go to Reordian, I think it was, at Azuru's tribe's cave, where we found, uh, what was her name again? Ayla. Or I would go to the Temple of Al Shadim and kill Saturus and the other Water Mage. It's two birds with one stone. 
Either way, they will all have to die. So I think I will first do, um, you know, the one at Azuru because that's only one mage and a couple of nomads who can handle nomads. But I will have major problems with two mages at the same time. Major problems. So I'm not gonna attempt to, you know, I'm not gonna pretend to be a hero. Let me put it that way. I will, you know, I will show them my heroism once I'm ready to show it off. Which is uh one time one time OP as fuck. All right, so let's go to uh, Braga. And let's say hello to our friends, Riordian. Or Madarian, or whoever it is. I can also kill them. I'm not gonna liberate those areas anyways, and the only reason why I sent them here was to kill their leader. Nice and inconspicuously. How did he damage me? Items become useful for gold. Cannot evade destiny. 
their destiny is to die. For it is the will of Periyar. Stop right there. The water mage is going to be difficult because there will be no mats surrounding him, but it's nothing we cannot handle providing we use the right tactics. But my first priority at the moment is getting my agent knowledge to as high as possible before, um, you know, agent knowledge requires 10 learning points, 15 learning points, etc. Um, which is then when I will invest in other things like strength. Uh, strength is pretty much ready. Oh, five points left and then it's ready and then I need to get my hunting skills to 190. And then I can also wear uh, this one. The katana. feeling that I'm way off. One second. I think I went a bit too far. Apparently I didn't. I, I'll just follow this rock here, then I will get to the right point. Definitely at the wrong spot because uh, no grass, no nothing. One second, it's really confusing at the moment.
I'm searching for the spot where our, our water mage body was at. Alright, I recognize the spot now, and that's, yeah, see, I was totally off. But this uh, water mage would certainly be, you know, quite, quite difficult. Maybe there's something interesting up here, I doubt it.
eight arrows left. Oof. Why do I wield a ring of endurance? And now the challenge. Stop hitting me! Always the little guy. Stop right there. Another one of those beasts! Another one of those beasts! Ah! 
like I need to kill another mage. Hmm, becomes a bit more complicated than I hoped. I don't have the ingredients for that. Farius is dead. This guy is dead. This was Riordan, I think. So, Satras, Riordan, Mixian, Farius, Midorian. Nothing to be had. Alright, so which one? Uh, let me check the list. Kronos. Where did I find Kronos? Oh right, yeah. No, no, it's not Kronos. Uh oh. <laughs> Phytrus, Mixia, Medarian, and Kronos. Mixia, uh, Satyrus, where's Satyrus? Satyrus and Mixia are together, or Satyrus? Wow, it's really confusing. Alright, so let me check at Morasu which two mages are there. I don't think I can handle the ones at Morasu. But they have to die either way, you know, and at some point. The only problem is killing those water mages. If they're combined, then I'm fucked. So let's kill Satyrus. There are more. Oh. 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 You oh 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 Oh! 
uninteresting. Alright, so access to each star has been achieved. But we're not done yet. Mix here. Now, now I'm starting to wonder if I forgot one water mage quest because I cannot recall chronos at the moment. Darien, which is at uh, behind Morasu and then Kronos. Uh, wasn't Kronos also there? I already fucked it up, so that's not the problem. Because if I now approach them, they will most likely attack me on sight. But I've got access, so doesn't really matter, you know, I'm not working for the water mages, I am working for Baliar, and thus, the Hashishin. Show me your goods. At least, nice gold. Let's see what my rewards are for killing the water mages. When it comes to gold, better be good. About the water mages. Speak up, quick. What do you have to report? Satyrus is dead. <laughs> That's the best news I have ever heard. Saturus was the head of the water mages, as far as I know. Great performance. Here is your reward. Mixer is done in. Excellent. One false prophet less. Good man. Here's your pay. Riordian is history. You've really got what it takes, huh? Good work. Take this. Nefarious is Desert Beast fodder. That's what I like to hear. Take this. You've earned it. Twenty-three. Mm. Teach me something about ancient magic. Good. That's the way. Carry on like that. Carry on like that. Ahem. Still cost five for any. Interesting. Good. Carry on like that. I was hoping that uh, by 200 it would reach the 10. But, you know, it doesn't matter.
Teach me something about hunting. Carry on. Carry on like that. <clears throat> Carry on. But I cannot recall where to find Kronos then. Because I did Madarian's quest, but I'm starting to doubt whether I did Kronos' quest. Doesn't really matter, I've done both of them on my Rebel and my Adenos playthrough, so I'm gonna save here. Or shall I quickly kill the ones behind Morasul? Yeah. Will I make it? How many supplies? Mm. It's worth a shot. Let me let me do it in this episode so that in the, in the next I can instantly go to Ishtar. Because the only one that I actually cannot kill at the moment is Vatris. That's because he's locked up. But to get access to him, I need to kill Fabio, get the key. But I would first want the reward for the arena before I do, you know. So I have to extend that one for a bit. But the rest of the nomads are of no significance. the remaining nomads I will kill later as well you know just for the little details but for now I'm priority focused on getting the water mages if Kronos is not here then I have to check out my Adenos playthrough to find to see where I can find the bugger I'm also gonna make quick save here to see if they will attack me or not I'm pretty sure that they will but you know it's worth worth a shot Style, interesting. Medarian. Tell me about your studies. You should acquire ancient wisdom. The old magic is a powerful weapon. I can only give you what I have found. But old Mizir lives in the ruin. He deals with ancient artifacts. I have told the nomads about you. When they heard of your heroic deeds, I could barely hold them back. If you are planning on attacking Morasul, you can count on the help of the nomads. They all want to fight at your side. I bet they do, but where is Kronos? Hmm. But they're not hostile, which is a bit surprising, to be honest. Oh. <sighs> 
with it. the beasts. You showed Miserable us. creature. Nearly done. <laughs> He's poked in the wall. Just you wait, boy. I feel so bad for those guys, you know, killing them. They don't really, really deserve to be killed, but it is the will of the gods. And now I still wonder where to find Kronos. It could be that he was with uh, Nefarious, it could be. I'm not quite sure though. But I will go out and check my Adenos place for a bit. Go. And anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run. 
and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell and if you want some advice or something let me know in the comment section down below anything is welcome and I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we gonna search for a Kronos and B go to each star priority task will be going to each star but uh, I will check my Adenos place for it to see where I at least try to find because not all the episodes of Adenos have timestamps yet but uh, I'm gonna try to figure out where to find Kronos either by Google or whatever um, to make sure that if they're not you know violent which apparently they are not even though I killed them um, I will I will make sure to check out where Kronos is go to Kronos do his quest if possible and otherwise I will just kill him and then collect go to Easter get the teleport the stone go to Gonzalez collect my reward etc and do the questing within the city of Easter so yeah thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys next time